Welcome back to my channel guys, it's me Irvin with another chapters review video. There's going to be quite a bit of chapters that I'm reviewing for the, the Elusive Samurai, which is a Shonen Jump series that I have been trying for the hardest to like catch up. So I'm trying my best now to just read sections instead of just chapter by chapter sections to catch up to the current uh, chapters and today we're reviewing chapters 25 all the way to chapter 30. So quite a bit of information coming out uh, for us. Uh, but before anything, if you have not done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel, give a friendly uh, comment, or also go and check out uh, the other stuff that I have here for you guys. Quite a bit of manga reviews, but also quite a bit of other stuff that I've been releasing here and there so make sure you give that love to that as well and check out the description below more stuff you guys can find there i know sometimes it's not updated i'm trying my best to keep the description below updated but if it's not i will eventually so uh tokiyoki is our main dude in this series and he is essentially becoming a uh the ruler um kind of like the the simba a character in the western uh, eyes i guess uh he was dethroned his uh father was betrayed and now he is trying to take back his throne um through you know doing a few things now uh the first chapter of this big chunk of chapters is really a conclusion of the previous story uh which is essentially um uh what's it Yurishike, which is a temple leader, he lost his powers, he was getting his powers. He also explained to Tokiyoki uh, essentially how powers work and, and how really that's the, the last era where powers is really, or gods and goddesses and uh, godly beings were the last era that, that they used them uh, because um, it, it kind of uh, became a, a, a more scientific th thoughts uh, uh, over religion so anyways uh that's really what chapter 25 is about and then from there we get the setup of essentially uh a, a southern group is being attacked they're being overtaxed on their crops and essentially a little group separated uh from from the farmers who just got fed up and they want to attack and they're attacking their uh um guy who essentially is is in control now again a, a lot of these guys are thugs that are taking control and are getting control of them because they kind of helped during the whole rebellion and uh with him is one of the um characters that we know ichikawa which is the guy that has good hearing and ichikawa is below him he is uh, still pretty up in the ranks, but the guy above him is, it's basically a clown. He's, he's just a weird dude and his, his leadership is not, not really well done. So, uh, what essentially happens is that, uh, Yorishike sends Tsukiyoki and his retainers, uh, Kojiro and Fubuki and, um, um, Gemba, they all go with him and essentially they go with the message of you guys should retreat, regroup, and then maybe you can defend in the northern areas of the of of the land. And uh, when they get there, essentially what happens is all these warriors are bloodthirsty, but also they have decided that that their death is near. And if their death is near, then they want to do everything uh, that is possible to take as many people down with them which it's very a weird way to think about it but it, it it is very much warrior uh thinking sorry guys my mouth was so dry anyways um they essentially have decided that they are going to bring as many people down with them as possible. And uh, this very much is the, the, the belief that goes on for about two chapters. And Tokiyoki basically has to fight uh, with these guys. And essentially he gives up and decides that he's going to give them a day of fighting. So that they can get some of that native energy out. And uh, what happens is his retainers, uh, Kojiro, who is great with a sword... 
Fubuki, who is a great warrior, but also a great strateg strategist. Uh, and then also uh, Gemba, who is great at imitating people, but also uh, getting in between those spots that, you know, are kind of hard to get. Uh, all, all three of these guys show uh, great force and also uh, do a lot of help to really keep these soldiers alive for at least one day. And there is quite a bit of bloodshed, but... Uh, at the end of the day, a lot of them still survive, and finally Tokiyoki uh, fights verbally, and it's funny because he gets hit by a little bit of alcohol, and he gets drunk even though he didn't even drink it, uh, and he basically gets the encouragement from the alcohol to kind of mm, get the other leader to snap out of it, like... It's better to live and fight another day than to, you know, end it. You know, he, he basically tells them it's a coward way out. You're essentially saying you've given up and you're leaving everyone else behind alive while you basically declare death and choose to essentially not do anything about it. So, um... He eventually convinces them that it's, it's okay to retreat. So they retreat. Now, the last two chapters of this chunk that I read today, uh, essentially what happens is as they're retreating, the enemy decides to attack them through two different directions. And uh, again, Tokyoki's retainers are a great part of this. Um, Genba convinces a bunch of, of the enemy soldiers to go a different direction and they go into an ambush and then they die and a lot of the other soldiers are attacked by Fubuki who is again great strategist but also by Kojiro who is a great swordsman and Kojiro uh, basically goes head to head with the leader of their group um, who is not the head leader yet but he is the boss of the of the army and he really loses but what ends up happening is his fight takes long enough that everyone else is able to defeat the soldiers of this leader that at the end of the day it's everyone against the leader and they're, they're able to kill the leader now our number one honcho who is the clown wants to basically still attack straight on he's like we can still overwhelm them with forces let's you let all of you guys go right he's sending uh our ichikawa guy like one that has good ears with his army forward and having him overwhelm the troops in the front now ichikawa has good hearing and at the end of this chapter chapter 30 we see him fighting with his leader and saying i don't think this is a good idea you're gonna be left vulnerable. No one's gonna be left behind to protect you. You gotta, you know, you gotta think about all these things. And his leader says, "Go." And at the end of the, the chapter, we see Chikawa, his ears perk up, and we see in the shadows one of uh, Tukiyoki's retainers running. I think I'm not sure if it's Fubuki or if it's uh, Kojiro, but it's one of those two running th uh, through the side, which we know they're going to attack the leader head on. So uh, we'll see what happens. I, I kind of feel like Ichikawa, uh, although he is obviously loyal to his leadership, he knows that he's at the top of leadership. There's obviously someone above him. And he doesn't really respect the way that he leads, so I almost feel like he's going to ignore it and follow the directions that he was given to kind of teach him a lesson, and really it's going to cause his death uh, of the other leadership. And Ichikawa probably is going to uh, retreat and, you know, get himself into safety instead of attacking blindly which is what really what's happening uh uh the the, the strategies uh fubuki are helping uh, at one point they use smoke to kind of uh blind the archers and stuff like that so there's there's a lot of strategy planned out before there's attacks and i loved how they they showcase all this kind of stuff and how uh a lot of these characters are are, are you know I, 
are, are building up to the story. Uh, a lot of these characters slowly were added to the groups, retainers of Tokioki, and now they're kind of a group traveling around defending groups. So uh, we'll see how this one ends, and I'll probably read five, six more chapters, uh, hopefully this week, so I can get another video out and hopefully get closer to the current chapter. Uh, but anyways, I know some of you guys ha uh, really want me to continue this series, and, and I, I myself really enjoy it so we'll see what happens thank you again for your love and support if you have not done so by now make sure you subscribe to my channel give some love by commenting liking and sharing and i'll see you guys next time like always don't be strangers see you guys